programmatic SEO, how to do it, what to avoid, and how to scale your website with programmatic SEO. Some people also call it PSEO. Um, very, very big in the travel industry, also in the crypto space. I'm going to show you guys a few examples of websites that are doing very well from it. And I'm also going to show you guys a, a very, very recent mess up on a pretty well-known brand, right? Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website as you can see from the graph or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store. If you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. So I don't think anybody in the SEO space is actually talking about this, but let's take a look at Binance's website. Um, in the UK, they have completely tanked and one of the reasons why is they had a lot of programmatic SEO pages and for whatever reason, they have ended up getting rid of those pages and they just 301. So for example, they had a page for every single type of um, crypto coin. So they had one for like Binance price, um, Ethereum price, or sorry, um, not Binance price, Solano price. Um, Ethereum price, Bitcoin price, and for whatever reason, they've ended up um, removing those pages. So it, it's doing a 302 currently um, to the actual homepage. And as you can see, the traffic has completely tanked. Um, so it clearly was working. And again, I don't know what they've done all the way back here, but they've completely tanked the traffic again it goes the same for like for example if we do ethereum price as well and if we look to see where binance is and as you can see all of their programmatic seo pages have been deleted so in this case it's completely destroyed the website but if we were to take a look at Airbnb, for example, Airbnb actually did a really good job. So Airbnb, um, Edinburgh, right? And if we take a look, so they've got um, their Edinburgh, Scotland's, or their Edinburgh page. And if we take a look, you will see <coughs> that it ranks for four, or gets for 750 free traffic and it uh, approximately gets 4,600 visits every single month through to just that page um and if we were to just actually take a look at the keywords that it's ranking for as you can see ranking for a lot of various different um keywords like even log cabin edinburgh it ranks for um but if we were to actually take a look at a variety of their different pages, what they do very well is, uh, from programmatic SEO point of view, um, they rank these pages very well, and they also give it enough data for it to rank. Um, so as you can see, very, very similar um, layout, but completely different actual content within the page. Um, or not, not completely different, but as you can see, like the internal linking, it's done very well. Obviously, the internal link to destinations to explore as well. Um, so that is what a programmatic SEO page looks like. And again, I'll I'll show you guys a few different examples. So, for example, if we take a look at in twenty thirteen dollar dot com. Um, as you can see, they've got a lot of different pages that look fairly similar. Um, but if we were to actually mess around with the URLs here, right? So if we take out the 2015 and change it to 2020, as you can see, this content actually changes. Um, in certain parts, it changes, not in, not in the entirety of it. 
it does it change. So $100 in 2020 is equivalent in purchasing power to about $121.39 today, an increase of $21.39. And if we take a look at this sentence here, $100 in 2015 is the equivalent in purchasing power to $132.55, an increase in power of $32 over nine years. Um, and obviously, obviously, this changes, um, 2020 changes. There's certain elements that change, not the entire content. That's the whole point of programmatic SEO. And if we take a look at this website, as you can see, it's slightly took a little bit of a dip, but it is growing um, from like, it's not like a, a brand new website. And again, if we take a look at Airbnb as well, um, Airbnb, if we click on overview, as you can see, referring domain count is going up and let's take a look at the keyword. Right now, Ahrefs does have a slight delay, um, but as you can see again, with Airbnb ranking for over 400,000 keywords, 500,000 now, and it is ever so slightly going up year on year. So this is um, the best way to actually do programmatic SEO. Um, there's also a tool that I will show you guys that you can obviously use. But this is um, from practicalprogrammatic.com, so big shout out to those guys. Um, but this is their screenshot. So they've got page template. So this is the design and the pattern that the, generate, uh, that the generated pages will follow, and then a database, right? So in this case, the actual um, inflation calculator, they've got, a, the, the, the database is how much the $100 used to cost and how much it costs now. And it's obviously calculating the differences. With Airbnb, they obviously have got um, a variety of different Airbnb stays that you can obviously stay across hundreds of thousands of towns and cities across the world. And all they're doing is they are attaching it to a database and they're creating these destination pages. So Edinburgh, New York, Glasgow, Manchester, London. And they're just categorizing these stays, right? So the, 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 the actual stays themselves, that's not the hard part. It's actually like categorizing them and figuring out where to actually place the certain um, um, areas. Now, a good tool for this is, so the tool that we are actually using for mass um, or for programmatic SEO is multiple pages generator. Now, a good few things that you can actually do with this tool is you can actually add this or you can link it up with your database on Google um, Sheets as well. So it's actually plugging in data from Google Sheets. So what I mean by that is if we actually take a look at our all projects here, we've actually got locations. And as you can see here, this is the actual sheet that it is attached to. And as you can see, we've got um, all the different actual locations, the unique sentences, the introduction. So you can actually swap out any of this to your desired outcome. And then the actual pages that this looks at is, if we take a look here, so it also gives you like a preview here. Um, but if we take a look at this page, this is the forward slash map page. And as you can see, we've got Matt, hello, Ultranum. Um, is known uh, for its picturesque market town, charm, and bustling arsenal food scene. And if we take a look at here, this is the unique sentence from Matt. So if we actually just change this to, hello, this is a test. And then what we will do is if we then go back to our all projects, and then if we click on fetch and use again, and if we just reload the page, we don't actually need to. Um, we don't actually need to actually um, change the content at all on the page. If I just empty cache and hard reload the page, um, do I need to access the URL again, Matt? This would be cache, and let me just refresh or reload the cache, and I will redo this section. 
So as we can see here, all I had to do was just refresh the actual website cache. And uh, as you can see, hello, this is a test and it's just grabbing it from here. So we can actually just tweak any one of these actual sen sentences within our Google Sheet and then it just gets pinged across through to our dedicated page for it. Um, so this is this is basically just a tool, Motley Pages Generator. I'm certain that there are other tools out there that can do a very similar task to this but this is the this is one of my go-to tools for stuff like this and obviously you can see all of the urls as well um you can change the urls with trailing slashes without trailing slashes you can tweak any one of these um as you wish and this is basically how you create mass or multi-page uh, multi-page programmatic seo pages on the fly you can add as many different locations or as many different um uh unique sentences introductions through to the actual page and it will get pinged across through to your website on the fly there's obviously other websites that are doing this as well like tripadvisor if we go to google.com trip advisor um let's do Greece I'm certain that they will have a Greece page and if we do Greece everything you need to know about it or they also have got like a Greece holidays page as well so they've got like a tourism page and if we de then take a look at Greece uh, if we take a look at Barcelona for example TripAdvisor Barcelona and They've actually got two different, if we go click here, as you can see, the Greece, um, so Greece, and it's very, very similar layout, but they just internally link to other relevant pages. Um, so that's another way that you can actually build out programmatic SEO pages. Another website that's using this a lot is um, if we do, for example, Ahrefs Alternatives, and there are a lot of different programmatic SEO websites that are doing this. Let's take a look at SE ranking. Um, and if we do SEMrush alternatives as well, so SE ranking, um, let's take a look at their actual pages here. So as you can see, 10 SEMrush alternatives, their pros and cons, they've got like a table here. Obviously they've put themselves number one. And again, same goes with this as well. Um, what other websites use um, programmatic SEO? Wise, Wise is another good one. Wise um, alternatives. So they actually rank themselves for Wise alternatives, which is quite funny. But then if we actually take a look at, let's say Revolut alternatives as well. Revolut definitely misspelled that and if we take a look here 12 alternatives to Revolut in the UK and as, as you can see here they've got like the table very similar um, setup so there's a lot of different ways that you can actually take advantage of programmatic SEO um, it's just how you want to actually structure your website a lot of SaaS um, tools do do the same as well where they will do Ahrefs alternatives, um, SEMrush alternatives, um, SE ranking alternatives, variety of different ways that you can actually scale out your programmatic SEO side of stuff. Um, as for ourselves at, at the agency we work with um, a few different um, SaaS tools um, and we take care of their SEO and that is one way that we can actually very quickly start to build out the actual um, rankings when it comes to the programmatic SEO side. So we'll essentially get a list of their competitors, we'll add it into the actual sheet and we'll start building out pages like that as well. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. And if you want a free 15 minute growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check the link down below or head over to casualdash.com and fill in the form. Thanks.